Have you ever seen those super realistic avatar demos that Meta showed off where you basically scan your face and it supposedly pops out a super realistic avatar of yourself? Well, it turns out that we can already do that, like right now. You can take a few pictures of your face and within minutes, make a customizable avatar that actually looks like you. Damn, boy, he fit! It's not quite as photorealistic as the meta presentation, but it looks much closer than anything else that I've tried when it comes to making photorealistic avatars that look like you. So this is Avatar, a brand new platform that is so simple, you just take three pictures of your face and it generates a fully customizable avatar with facial expressions and custom outfits. It's so simple that even my monkey brain can do it. And with some weird voodoo demon magic, you not only have an avatar that genuinely looks like you, but it also has those natural looking eye and mouth movements that you get from full face blend shapes. It even works with face tracking if I was smart enough to get that working on my Quest Pro. And like I said, it's a customizable avatar. You can customize the hairstyle, the outfit, the body weight, the skin tone. You can add accessories and much more. It's a completely custom avatar, but with your ugly face on it. So if you ever wanted to know what you'd look like with a different weight or actually being able to do a full push up. Well, now you know. Of course, not everyone's gonna wanna run around in VR chat doxing their real face for everyone to see, and I get that. But if you're looking to experiment with cutting edge technology, or if you just want an avatar that looks like you because it's your literal face wrapped around a mesh, you can do it with Avatar. It just launched and it's now available for anyone to use for free. And I'll be the first to say this avatar isn't perfect. It has some weird, like, I don't even know what you would call that, like like the cuts into the side of the hair. I'm not a big fan of that. I also had some really weird thinning going on and I couldn't get that out. But these are all small issues that are going to get resolved as the things developed more and more. Now, the obvious issue with this kind of avatar is that it's standing really close to the line of photorealistic and cool and evil demon spawn levels of uncanny that you want to burn. So the other day while hanging out at VCAD, I asked a couple of people what they thought of my avatar and their answers kind of surprised me. All right, what do you think of my avatar? This is what I actually look like. This is my actual face. I can tell. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so you see it? <laughs> know it's my I face? Know. And I the first thing you do is laugh. The hands are really realistic too, though. I'm looking at it. You've got like yeah. all that detail in your hand. Did you scan your hands too? Oh, this is just the, like you can change the skin color, but this is just the hands they give you. What do you think of the avatar? It's pretty cool. Is this, is it also. creep you out or is it like, is it, is it good it's enough? It's good. Like quite a reality one, you know? Would you guys use an avatar like this or is this like too creepy? I mean, if I had to for a job, I would, but if I had to for a job. <laughs> reference right here. Overall, it seems like these avatars aren't that bad. Some might find it uncanny and creepy, but the eye and mouth blend shapes make it much better than some of the other options that I've used in the past. I can't believe I went to an actual VR chat club with that thing on. The biggest issue with using these kinds of avatars in VR chat is that you're going to be the only realistic looking avatar in a sea of anime girls, furries, and memes. You're the only real person in a world of virtual avatars, so you stand out quite a bit. Until somebody else spawns in with this avatar. <laughs> like, this is the avatar I use right here, man. Like, like, when I want to, to flex, you know, flex on people, this is it right here. So to create an avatar in Avatar, and you just need to go to their website linked in the description. It'll guide you through the simple process where you take three pictures of your face on your phone. And just make sure that you have good lighting, you know, try to avoid having too many shadows on your face. And honestly, the best way to do this is by standing next to a window on a cloudy day. Once the avatar processes, you can customize it however you want. And like I said, you can change skin tone, eye color, outfits, hair, whatever you want. At the end, you'll download a GLB file, and then you'll want to use Avatar's converter to turn it into an FBX file for uploading to VRChat. And then you'll just need to download Unity and upload it like you would any other avatar. If you're not sure how to do that part, because if you've never uploaded an avatar, it's really easy and simple to do. And I have another video on my channel that shows you how to do it for Vroid avatars. It's basically the same process for any avatar, so just go check out that video. Once you've got it in, just jump into the headset and test it out and make sure that everything worked. And that's it. Honestly, you know, to give Avatar a try, it's free and it's going to give you a glimpse of what's going to be possible with more realistic avatars. I mean, even if you never use the avatar, outside of testing it in your own private world, it's still a pretty crazy experience to see a reflection of your actual face in a virtual world like VRChat. If you have any questions or run into any issues uploading your avatar, join my Discord and post about it in the Avatar Help channel. You can also comment down below, but honestly, Discord's the best way to get my help. Thanks for watching.